All right, let's say we want to slow down time. Here we have a bunch of bodies that, that are going to, oh, I'm gonna delete this, sorry. Um, and so here we have a bunch of bodies that just fall. And let me undo that. So now we have input. So what we're gonna do to do this, uh, slow down time, is in our main function, we're just gonna go to the ready function and go to uh, ready and say engine dot uh, time scale equals 0 0.1. And this will simply allow us to slow down time to 0 0.1 of its usual time. And as you can see, it works perfectly. Obviously rotation isn't perfect, but if I move, it works awesome. And you can see the animation is now slowed down. Now let's say I want to do this on an input. Uh, a very good way you might think is to, okay, let's say if event is action, pressed, left click, uh, then we'll do engine time scale, we'll delete that, and then else we'll just set it back to one. Now this might work. So if I click down, it'll, oh, not pressed. What we wanna do is action. Ooh, what is going on? Is action pressed? Let's try one more time. So yeah, if I press down, it'll do that. Unless I click something else, then it'll stop right away because we have the else. So a much better way to make use of our uh, event here is to say if event is, ooh, let me delete all this, is, act, is if event is event input event mouse button, meaning we're clicking some sort of button and there are a bunch of different things for this so you can definitely look up the documentation uh, and event button mask is equal to one which is just mouse down right so if we're clicking downwards then what we can do is say okay then we'll slow down time sorry about that then we'll slow down time and then we can also check for when it releases so we can say elif event is action, same thing. And if it, the mask is zero, meaning we released, then we'll set it back to normal. And what this does is it allows us to click down and slow down time, and we can still keep moving around, keep moving around, sorry. However, with the other one, we couldn't move around because then it would go back to normal. So I'll click and I can move around, I can do whatever, because that, that doesn't check for anything else. So that's a very good way to do that. Um, I hope that helps. Hopefully uh, you guys now understand how to slow down time in your games. Uh, I hope you guys can make use of this effect. It's very cool. And you can add a bunch of different effects that will help with this. So if you guys like this video, go subscribe down below. I have a Patreon, I have a Discord. I would love if you guys join my Discord, that'd be awesome. Um, I'm very much trying to build a community with you guys. Um, I would love to see your projects. Uh, I would love to, if you guys shared your projects with other people in my Discord. Uh, I also, Hope you guys can comment down below what you'd like to see next. Go like the video. Uh, I think that is it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.